everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 29th of june 2022 let's start which state or union territory launched the mo bus service which was recently recognized by the united nations public service awards so odisha's capital region urban transport authority introduced the mo bus service in november in the year 2000 18 why to promote the smart technologies and safe transportation for the women riders so it was recently recognized by the united nations public service awards for the year 2022 fine let's see some of the important states that were in news which state is set to roll out the comprehensive health insurance scheme named as medicep so kerala government is set to launch the medicep scheme from 1st of july 2022 and it is a kind of medical insurance scheme for the state government employees pensioners and their eligible family members okay so it will provide cashless medical assistance with a comprehensive coverage of up to 3 lakh rupees per year fine right? next is anjanadri hills which was mentioned in the news recently is in which indian state so this hill lies in the state of karnataka and this is the birth place of hanuman ji okay so karnataka chief minister has recently chaired a meeting to review the implementation of anjanadri hills comprehensive development project and also he has directed the officials to complete the land acquisition process for this particular project within one month so this project requires about 60% of land out of which 58 acres of land belong to the private owners so the land will be acquired either through direct negotiations or kerala industrial area development board land acquisition process okay sao joao is celebrated in which indian state so this is celebrated in the state of goa Now, apart from it, don't forget that the two-day India Drone Festival 2022 was recently inaugurated by the government of India in New Delhi, and uh, in the 17th Mumbai International Film Festival, which was the focus country, it was Bangladesh, right? The next question: India recently announced. the commonwealth diplomatic academy program with which country so a joint india uk commonwealth diplomatic academy program was recently announced by the foreign ministers of the uk and india so it aims to equip the diplomats from all the commonwealth member states with expertise and skills that are required for addressing the emerging challenges that have the global level impact so this academy program will be hosted in new delhi and this was announced during the 26th commonwealth heads of the government meeting that was recently held in rwanda in east africa from 24th to 25th of june okay let's see the questions which country recently joined the commonwealth of nations despite not having the historic ties with britain this is gabon and not only gabon but Togo is also the country that has joined the Commonwealth of Nations although it does not have any historic ties with the Britain. So this 54 members 
group have accepted their application on the recently held leadership summit in Rwanda. Okay. Sierra de Culebra mountain range which was hit by massive wildfires is located in which country? So it lies in Spain. Which neighboring country of India has passed a constitutional amendment to empower the parliament over the president? This is the country Sri Lanka and who is the president of Sri Lanka? Gotabaya Raj Paksha and who is the new prime minister of Sri Lanka? Renil Vikrami Singh, right? Which country launched its first domestically built space rocket called Nuri? So Nuri rocket belonged to the country South Korea and apart from it, don't forget that Skyroot Aerospace has successfully conducted the static fire test of Kalam 100 rocket, right? Similarly, Simolk satellite carrier has been launched by Iran few days back. So you can be asked that Simorg term is related to which country? Answer would be Iran. Fine. Gustavo Petro is the newly elected leftist president of which country? So he is the new president of the country, Colombia. Fine. And talking about some of the recent appointments, don't forget that Mr. Samant Kumar Goel has recently been reappointed as chief of RAW. Okay. Tapan Kumar Deka has been appointed as the new director of Intelligence Bureau. And you have to tell me who is the first female president of FICA. So let me know in the comments. Next question. Which government body released the draft regulatory guidelines for the child participation in the entertainment industry? So the National Commission for the Protection of Child Rights has recently issued the draft regulatory guidelines for the child participation in the entertainment industry to protect the child artists who are involved in films, TV, reality shows, social media and OTT platforms from physical and psychological stress. Okay, So the draft guidelines also protect the child actors education by mandating the film producers to appoint a private tutor if the need is required and also it provides protection for the minors in the industry under bonded labor system act of 1976 okay so which body is responsible for this guideline answer would be ncpcr let's see some of the important reports that were in use these days according to the report first crisis then catastrophe over a quarter of a billion people will be pushed into poverty in 2022. It has been released by which of the following organizations? So this is the report from Oxfam International. And usually Oxfam International reports are asked in your exams. Okay, So don't forget it. Which organization released the report making the right to social security a reality for the domestic workers? This is the organization International Labor Organization. And headquarters lies in Geneva in Switzerland. Which country has released the most detailed geological map of the moon so far? This is the country China. And before it, we have also seen that China has developed artificial moon and artificial sun. Right? Which institution released the report titled as Tobacco Poisoning Our Planet? So this was the report from World Health Organization. And we observe World No Tobacco Day on 31st of May. And this year theme was tobacco, a threat to our environment. Also, the World Health Organization has selected the state Jharkhand for the World No Tobacco Day Awards 2022 after recognizing its effort in controlling the tobacco consumption, right? India has signed the agreements to release the cheetahs from South Africa and Namibia in which state. So these cheetahs are to be released in the state of Madhya Pradesh from South Africa and Namibia. From South Africa, 12 cheetahs are to be exported and from Namibia, 8 cheetahs are set to come to India. Okay. So currently this agreement has been signed for 10 years, but later on it can also be extended to next 5 years. Fine. 
As per the road accidents in India 2020 report that was released recently, which state or the union territory recorded the highest accident severity in 2020. This is the state Mizoram. By the way, what understand by the term accident severity? It means number of persons who are killed per 100 accidents. Fine. So in this first state is Mizoram. Then Mizoram is followed by Bihar at second place and then Punjab is at third. Fine. Next question. LGBTQ Pride Month is observed in the US in which month? So LGBTQ Pride Month is celebrated every year in the month of June and it commemorates the 1969 Stonewall Uprising in Manhattan which is recognized as the starting point for the gay liberation movement in the US, right? So initially the last Sunday in June was celebrated as the Gay Pride Day and later on it grows to a month-long celebrations across the country. So these events also include memorials for those who have lost their lives because of the persecutions, hate crimes or HIV AIDS. Fine. Let's see some of the important days. When is the International Day Against the Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking Observed? So United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution in December 1987 to declare 26th of June as the International Day Against the Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking and also it is known as the World Drug Day. And objective of this day is to combat the drug abuse and illegal drug trade across the world and to strengthen the global cooperation. And theme for this year is addressing the drug challenges in health and humanitarian crisis. Fine. So it focuses on the existing and the emerging global drug related challenges that are caused by the pandemic, climate crisis, supply chain disruption and due to inflation. Okay. When is the day of the seafarer observed? So 25th of June is designated as the day of the seafarer by the International Maritimes Organization, which is the United Nation Agency that is responsible for regulating the global shipping industry. So it was observed for the first time in the year 2011 and the day recognizes the importance of the sea transport and honors the seafarers for their contributions towards the global economic growth despite the risk involved right and this year what was the theme your voyage then and now share your journey okay so this was the whole theme when is the united nations public service day observed so this day is observed on 23rd of june why to recognize the importance of the public institutions and public servants in ensuring the development of all sectors across the globe. And this year theme was building back better from COVID-19, enhancing innovative partnership to meet the sustainable development goals. Listen again, what was the theme? Building back better from COVID-19, enhancing innovative partnerships to meet the sustainable development goals. Okay. Now next is consider the following pairs. Here you have to identify whether the pair is right or not. First is B.R. Ambedkar Equality Day. Yes, the birth anniversary of B.R. Ambedkar that is on 14th of April every year we celebrate the Equality Day. Second is Vallabhai Patel Unity Day. Yes, the birth anniversary of Vallabhai Patel means 31st of October is observed every year as Unity Day. Next is Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan Education Day. No. Actually, Education Day is observed on the birth anniversary of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad, who is our first education minister as well, and his birthday occurs on 11th of November. Okay, so this pair is not right. And last is Maulana Abul Kalam Azad Integration Day. No, because Integration Day is observed on 19th of November to pay tribute to our first female Prime Minister of India, Indra Gandhi, right? So this one is also wrong. Correct answer would be only one and two. Okay. Next is, which state instituted the Kempe Gauda International Award? 
एक्चुअली केम्पे गौड़ा वॉज अ चीफ टेन अंडर द विजयनगर एम्पायर हु वॉज नोन फॉर द फोर्टिफिकेशन ऑफ द कर्नाटका कैपिटल बेंगलुरु बेंगलुरु इन फिफ्टीन थर्टी सेवन सो इस बर्थ एनिवर्सरी इज ऑब्जर्व एवरी ईयर अक्रॉस कर्नाटका स्टेट ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ जून सिंस टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एंड इन एंड इन हिज ऑनर केम्पे गौड़ा इंटरनेशनल अवार्ड वॉज इंस्टीट्यूटेड अर्लियर दिस ईयर वाई टू रिकोगनाइज द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ बेंगलुरु एंड द रेस्पियंस ऑफ द इनागरल एडिशन ऑफ दिस अवार्ड आर फॉर्मर कर्नाटका चीफ मिनिस्टर एस एम कृष्णा इन्फोसिस फाउंडर एन आर नारायण मूर्ति एंड वेटरन बैडमिंटन प्लेयर प्रकाश पदकोन ओके कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन स्लाइड विच इंडियन ऑथर वॉज नेम्ड एज कंपेनियन ऑफ ऑनर बाय द यूनाइटेड किंगडम दिस इज ऑथर सलमान रुशदी ओके करण नंदी एंड खुरम परवेज हु वर इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली आर एसोसिएटेड विथ विच ऑनर सो दे हैव बीन फीचर्ड इन टाइम्स हंड्रेड मोस्ट इन्फ्लुएंशियल पीपल लिस्ट करण नंदी इज एक्चुअली सुप्रीम कोर्ट लॉयर खुरम परवेज इज कश्मीरी ह्यूमन राइट्स एक्टिविस्ट एंड द थर्ड नेम इन दिस लिस्ट वॉज बिजनेस पर्सन गौतम अदानी ओके विच कंट्री इज द फर्स्ट एवर ऑफिशियल कंट्री ऑफ ऑनर एट द मार्च दियो फिल्म ऑफ कैंस फिल्म फेस्टिवल दिस इज आवर कंट्री इंडिया द यूनाइटेड नेशन सेलिब्रेट्स इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज डे ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ अप्रिल इन ऑनर ऑफ विच इंग्लिश ऑथर सो यूनाइटेड नेशन सेलिब्रेट ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ अप्रिल एज इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज डे टू पे ट्रिब्यूट टू विलियम शेक्सपियर एंड ऑन द सेम डे दे ऑल्सो सेलिब्रेट स्पेनिश लैंग्वेज डे नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्राइम मिनिस्टर आवास योजना एम्स टू अचीव हाउसिंग फॉर ऑल बाय विच ईयर सो प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना एम्स टू अचीव हाउसिंग फॉर ऑल बाय द ईयर 2022 एंड इट वाज लॉन्च्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी ऑफ जून 2015 and it is implemented by the ministry of housing and the urban affairs so basically it caters to the housing needs of the economically weaker sections lower income groups and the middle income groups so this year marks the 7th anniversary of this flagship scheme and to commemorate this the government has released an ebook featuring the achievements under this scheme so goal of this scheme is to complete 2.7 crore houses by the year 2022 until date about 67% of this goal has already been achieved okay coming to the question slide how much amount will be provided as the financial assistance to the children when he attains the age of 23 under pm cares for the children scheme so every children would be provided with 10 lakh rupees under this scheme if they are eligible what are the new annual premium rates of pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana and pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana respectively with effect from 1st of june 2022 answer is 436 rupees and 20 rupees now don't forget that few days back union finance minister nirmala sitaraman announced the excise duty cut of 8 rupees per liter on petrol and 6 rupees per liter on diesel and also a subsidy of 200 rupees would be given on lpg cylinders under the ujwala yojana right scholarships for pm cares children scheme was launched under which ministry so it works under ministry of social justice and empowerment in which metropolis Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently laid the foundation stone of a multi-model logistics park worth one worth one thousand four hundred thirty crore rupees. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently laid the foundation stone of this park in Chennai, and the estimated cost is one four three zero crore rupees for this park. Agriculture Ministry signed a memorandum of understanding with which organization for the technical support towards. Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana and Kisan Credit Card. Answer would be United Nations Development Program. Okay. Next is Baby Colombo Mission, which recently made news, is the first European mission to which planet? 
so it was actually launched in the year 2018 and it is a kind of joint mission of european space agency and japan aerospace exploration agency so this mission has two individual orbiters first is european space agency's mercury planetary orbiter and second is jaxa's mercury magnetospheric orbiter okay so they are related to mercury planet so it is the first european mission to mercury and the first to send two spacecraft to take the complementary measurements of the planet to take the complementary measurements of the planet and study its environment at the same time so this joint mission recently made its second gravity assist flyby of the mercury planet okay coming to the question slide Delhi Election Commission has named which sports person as the state icon this is yash dhul what is the target year set by the india for the first human space mission gaganyaan and the first human ocean mission so the target for this mission is 2023 which organization has authorized a 47 million dollars grant to the government of india for mission karam yogi which is a national civil service capacity building program answer is the world bank devensi mission which was seen in the news recently is associated with which country so devensi is a mission of nasa so country would be usa which country launched its manned mission to its tiangong space station it is country china next is which is the venue of the 2022 united nations ocean conference So United Nations Ocean Conference is set to be organized from 27th of June to 1st of July in Lisbon in Portugal. So it will be co-hosted by the governments of Kenya and Portugal. And aim of the conference is to promote science-based innovative solutions that are needed to ensure the sustainable management of the oceans. And also it seeks to promote green technology and innovative use of marine resources as well so this conference will basically discuss the solutions to address the threats to health ecology economy and governance of the ocean okay let's see some of the important venues that were in use which city is the venue of the national health authority nascom conclave 2022 on aishman bharat digital mission answer is bangalore which state or union territory is the venue of the meeting of the western zonal council in 2022 answer would be daman and diu and the western zonal council consists of which states gujarat maharashtra goa dadra and nagar haveli and daman and diu right which is the venue of the 12th ministerial conference of the world trade organization answer is geneva switzerland Which is the venue of the Biotech Startup Expo 2022 which was inaugurated by the Indian Prime Minister answer is New Delhi Which is the venue of the Khelo India Youth Games 2021 So venue of this event was Haryana and in the year 2018 it was hosted by Delhi in 2019 it was hosted by Pune and in the year 2020 it was hosted by Guwahati Assam fine and what was the mascot for khelo india youth games answer is dhakar you have to tell me which state was the winner in this game do let me know in the comments next is mandakini river which was recently found in the news is the tributary of which river so this river lies in the state of uttarakhand and it is the tributary of the alaknanda river which is one of the two head streams of the ganga river So it originates from the Chorabari glacier in the Gharwal Himalayas and this river later drains into the Alaknanda which flows into the Ganga okay so recently a joint operation was conducted by Uttarakhand police and the state disaster response fund to rescue the two youths that were trapped in the Mandakini river that's why it was in news right now let's start with today's quiz Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section 
so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minuzat sana signing off